around a good wife team. I'm Velia, the historian, and mother. And I'm Eris, the herbalist. We were just in the herb garden at our 1770 farmhouse, and we picked some skullcap. Skullcap's native to Eastern North America. Native Americans use it as a sedative to promote menstruation and to expel a placenta after childbirth. But it shouldn't be used by pregnant women because it can cause a miscarriage. I recommend it for stress, anxiety, and headaches. It's in the mint family, and it makes a really nice tea that tastes kind of comforting. It's a nervine, which means it nourishes the nervous system, and it's great for sleep. In 1806, Lewis and Clark collected the first samples of skullcap, and back in the 1700s, it was known as mad dog weed and publicized as a cure for, cure for rabies, but it's not. And the name skullcap comes from the shape of the flower, which sort of looks like one of those old medieval helmets with the hood that kind of raised up like this. And it's also called Quaker Bonnet and Hoodwort. We'll sleep well tonight. And never have rabies. Stay, Stay grounded. grounded.